Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own AI booking bot with Go High Level. You can use this AI bot for your own business and you can also sell this bot to your clients. So basically, whenever a lead responds to your business or your client's business, AI will automatically respond to that lead and try to book an appointment with them, saving you or your client a lot of time from having to go in and respond to those leads manually. So before we get started, in order for this to work, you're going to want to go to settings, then come over here to where it says company and then where it says conversation AI and workflow AI, you're just going to want to make sure both of those are switched on and now we're ready to build out the AI bot. If you want to make this a snapshot that you can use over and over again, you could go ahead and build this AI bot in a fresh sub account. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to automation and now we're going to create a new workflow and we could just name this workflow AI chatbot. So now for the trigger, we're going to want to add basically every single reply channel that a lead can communicate with us with. So for the first one, I'm just going to do customer replied, add filter, and then I can choose reply channel. In this first one, we could just do SMS and then I could just rename this SMS and save that trigger. And then we can add another trigger, customer replied, filter, reply channel, and then we could do in Instagram DM and then rename this IG DM, save this trigger. So the next we can go ahead and add another reply channel. So basically, as I said before, you just want to do all of these. So now that you basically have all the main reply channels, if you wanted to, you can also add a form. I'm going to go ahead, add a new trigger, search for forms. So you can include a TikTok form, a Facebook form, or you could choose one of the forms that you already have. So I'm just going to click on form submitted. Then we can add filter form is, and then we could just choose a form that we want to use and then click save trigger. So now, as you can see here, every time a lead communicates with us through Facebook, SMS, chat widget, Google My Business, Instagram, or a form, AI will automatically respond to the lead and try to get them to book an appointment. So now let's go ahead and finish building out this automation. All right, so the first action we're going to do is a if else condition. So basically what this will do is branch off the automation in two separate categories, depending on the reply channels that you have. So we're just going to click here if else. So we're just going to name each branch after the reply channels that we have. So for the first one, we can do SMS and chat widget. And the reason why we're adding two reply channels to this because SMS and chat widget are related, they're both going to be using text. So next we could come down here, then you're going to want to click on workflow trigger and then click on is and then you're just going to choose SMS and then add another condition and then we could do workflow trigger again is and then select chat widget. So now we can add another branch. This branch is going to be called Facebook Messenger and then workflow trigger is and then choose Facebook Messenger. Add another branch. This one's going to be IG DM workflow trigger is IG DM. And then this one's going to be Google My Business is and then click Google My Business. And then we can do this again. Workflow trigger is and then form submitted. So after we're done adding all of our reply channels, we can go ahead and click save action. And now your automation should look like this. So now we're just going to want to add a chat GPT prompt for each of these branches. So to do that, you'll just click here, chat GPT. And then in here, you're just going to add a prompt to help the AI better respond to your leads. All right, so this is the prompt that I came up with. Basically, I'm just telling the AI that your name is Bob and the company is called Lead Live. Customers will contact us to get information in regards to digital marketing services like web design, automation, lead generation, etc., and may want to book an appointment. You are a helpful and friendly assistant designed to book appointments using this calendar link. And then I just pasted my calendar link right here. Please answer any question the person has. Also address them by their first name. And then I added contact first name if they have one. And then finally, I said keep the response under 50 words. This so the AI keeps it short and they don't send out huge paragraphs to the leads. And then for the temperature, you can play around with this. For this example, we can try 0.5. The higher the number that you put in here will make the response more random. And the lower the number you put is going to make the response more specific to what you entered into this prompt box. So when writing out your prompt, it's best to get as specific as possible. So if I wanted this AI to be more enthusiastic, I can include it in here. Or if I wanted the AI response to be funny, I can also include it in here as well. So after you're done filling out your prompt, you're just going to want to save action. And then you can go ahead and add an SMS. And for this SMS, you're just going to come over here to where it says ChatGPT. Click on this ChatGPT response, and then you could go ahead and click Save Trigger. And that's going to be the message that your leads initially get after they reach out to you. So you're just going to go ahead and do this for the rest of these reply channels. All right, so this is what it should now look like. And one thing to keep in mind is you're just going to, want to make sure that the prompt number always matches the response number in your SMS. So one should be one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, etc. All right, so now I'm going to finish building out this automation one reply channel at a time. So I'm going to first show you how to build out the SMS and Chat Widget section, and then after that, everything's going to be basically the same thing. You're just going to want to rinse and repeat for the rest of these reply channels. All right. So what we got right now is every time a lead reaches out to your business, our AI bot will automatically respond to them. And then we're just going to want to wait for them to respond back. So we're just going to do wait and then choose contact replied SMS. So this automation won't continue until they respond back. So now we're going to want to add a condition so we can do if else. And the first one we're going to do contact reply. 
contact replied and then we could do true and we can name this contact replied true and then we can add another branch do contact reply contact replied and then for this one false and we're just going to name it contact replied false so basically contact replied true means that the lead responded and contact replied false means that the lead did not respond so we could go ahead and save this action so now i'm going to build out the contact reply true section and then after that i'll go ahead and build out the contact replied false section so if our lead responded to the ai we're going to want our ai bot to respond back to them so we can go ahead click on chat gpt and then we can insert a prompt again and the prompt that we add in here is basically going to be similar to the one that we added before except for a few changes so this says the lead responded with this message and then i added this custom value message body please respond to them and get them to book an appointment using this calendar link so basically what this is doing is allowing your ai bot to respond to their specific message so we could go ahead and save action and now we can add an sms so I'm going to choose ChatGPT, and since this is number seven, I'm going to choose number seven down here and then click save action. So now after our AI bot responded to the lead, we're going to want our AI bot to wait for the response again. So I'm going to click here, type in wait, and then choose contact reply. So our AI is going to wait for them to send an SMS and then save action. So now you're basically just going to want to have this loop over and over again. Every time your lead responds, you want your AI to respond to the lead. So to do that, you're just going to want to add a go to action. And we could just name this loop, click save action. And then you're just going to want to drag this loop over here. So again, what that does is it just keeps our AI bot continuously communicating with the lead and trying to get that lead to book an appointment. Every time they respond, AI will send that lead a custom response over and over again. So now we're going to build out this section for whenever the lead doesn't respond back to your AI bot. So we can go ahead and add a wait time. So we can do like 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we can have our AI bot respond back to the lead. So we're just going to add a chat GPT. And then for this prompt, this is what I added. The lead did not reply yet. Send a short follow up message to get them to reply. And then we can just do like five and then click save action. So basically, if the lead doesn't respond, this AI bot will just basically say, hey, are you there? Or we'll just say hello, question mark, or John, did you get my message or something of that nature? Just trying to get that lead engaged again. So we're going to want to add an SMS. Choose ChatGPT and then choose number eight, save action. And then from here, we're going to want to add another condition. So this first branch is going to be if the lead responded. So I'm going to do contact reply, contact replied, and then true. And then for the second branch, I'm going to do lead did not respond, and then contact reply, contact replied, and then we're going to do false, then save this action. So after our AI bot's follow up message, if they respond, we're just going to want to move them over here to this side where our AI bot will continue having a conversation with them and trying to get the lead to book an appointment. So to do that, we're just going to add a go to action. You just name this loop the action and then drag this loop over here. So now after our AI try to follow up with the lead and they still haven't responded, we're going to add another go to action. And for this one, we can name it loop as well. And we're just going to drag this one back up here. So basically, it's just going to continue looping and continue sending out follow up messages until the lead responds. And then again, if they do respond, they'll come back here to this side. All right, so that's basically going to be it for this side. We just built out everything we need for the SMS and chat widget reply channel. So now basically everything that you built out over here, you're just going to want to do for each of these reply channels. So I'm just going to quickly build these out and show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what it should look like after you're done building it out for every single reply channel. I just have this zoomed out so you can see it a little better. So whenever someone communicates with your business, with SMS, chat widget, Facebook Messenger, Google My Business, Instagram DM, or they fill out one of your forms, this AI bot will automatically start communicating with the lead that reached out. So one last thing, you're just going to make sure that for the SMS and chat widget condition, make sure you have it as or in order for this to work properly. So we could go ahead and test what this looks like now. All right, so to test this out, I said hi, and the AI responded, hi there, I'm Bob, your friendly assistant at Lead Life. How can I assist you with your digital marketing services like web design, automation, or lead generation? Feel free to ask any question or schedule an appointment using this link. And then the AI bot sent my calendar link, and I went ahead and just said, how much is a new website? And the AI responded, the cost of a new website varies based on your specific needs and requirements. I recommend booking an appointment with us so we can discuss your website goals and provide you with, with a personalized quote. You can book an appointment here, and then the AI sent the calendar link again. And then I just said what time slots are available. And it basically responded saying we have various time slots and it sent the link again so that the lead can click on the calendar and see which times are available. So if you don't like how the AI is responding, you are just gonna wanna play around with the prompts and the more information that you add in the prompt, the better. So for example, for this one, it says, hi, I'm Bob, your friendly assistant at Lead Life. That kind of sounds weird. So if I wanted to change this, I would just go back into the prompt that I created and mess around with it. So if you really wanted to perfect this, you will be probably going back and forth, changing up the prompt and then sending various messages to testing out the prompt. And then you're just gonna wanna continue doing that until you get it where you want it. All right, so that's how you can build out your own AI booking bot. This booking bot will save you or your clients a lot of time from having to go in and manually reach out to leads. A lot of times your clients will have a lot of inbound leads and something like this will help them out a lot. And they're gonna be willing to spend a lot of money for this. So finally, if you guys are new to go high level and you wanna learn how to set up your business A to Z, go ahead and check out the free course that I have in the description. Also, if you guys are not my affiliate, but you still want my bonuses and resources, you can also get that in the description. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe.